Okay, I think this will be our last video uh, for this project. Uh, uh, when we finished last time, you noticed that we uh, had just finished typing in the methods for accessing the uh, database. And so uh, if we can look at the assignment now, we see that we have completed step 10, added these methods, and now we're going to finish up step 11, which is to add the form load method. And we'll do step 12 then, which is uh, the event handler for the button click. And after that, let's hope it works. So let's uh, switch back. And let's uh, switch back over to the form design. This is the form.cs which uh, would be from right here. And to enter uh, the event handler for the form load, we can just simply find an area here that is not, that is not uh, over the control and double click. And the code page appears, ready to enter in the form load event handler. <clears throat> so let's start by we're going to um, list view one is the name of our list view control and we're going to do items so first of all we're going to clear the items in case there's anything in the list right now. <coughs> Let's define an employee list. that and let's use our get employee method that we created in the last video And if the employee list counts, in other words, if there is more than zero employees, then uh, let's <coughs> load up the list view. Zero uh, is a And I have to do this for all the rest of the strings, so I'm going to speed this up.
Okay, and I think that is it for the for loop. And the if. Uh, there's an else. That is message, just a message. And uh, if there's an error, Okay, <clears throat> and I think that'll do it for the uh, form load handler. So now that we've finished entering in the form load handler, which reads the database table using our get employee and uh, gets an employee list and loads up the list view we should be able to run this and see that the uh, load handler works so let's try clicking start and look at that we see that our our employees, the two employees that we did enter in the first video are here and have in fact sorted them uh, alphabetically. So that's quite a feat. Okay, so for the rest of the video, let's uh, add the event handler for being able to submit. So let's uh, shut this off and uh, go back to our assignment and we see that we have completed step 11 and now we're going to simply add this code here into the button flip so let's switch back and let's go to the form design and now we can simply double click on the submit button here and our code pops up ready to type in the submit click event handler and we'll start out by just calling the add employee method that we created in our WPCDB class so WPC db add employee and I've got the parameters I've got to send in we have uh, let's see text first name dot text comma text last name dot text uh, txt department text txt phone text and txt email text and once we're done adding the employee we want to clear out the form so let's do that equals
and to uh, let's call the form load function again that's an easy way to do it to reload the list view and so to do that we can simply type this form one this is the name of the form load that's right uh requires two parameters so uh, let's do that and uh let's uh click and see if this works and there it is and so let's go back to our spreadsheet this spreadsheet here and I'm going to add the next name in the list, which is Sherd Bandalone. And he is in legal. And his phone number is 360-285-8210. And his email address is RichardBandalone. At wpc.com and let's click the submit button and look at that added right in in alphabetical order and it clears the form so uh, it looks like it, it works the remaining part of the task is to move enter in the rest of these records and so I will do that very quickly and when I'm done we should be done with the assignment so let's go Thank you. Thanks.